What's up, Alicia Elodie here, and welcome back to the <laughs> Welcome back to my bedroom where I go when I die in Shadowcraft 2.0. Let's go and retrieve my stuff and get on with the day's proceedings. Where is my gravestone? Hmm? There it is. This is where I died. So my first idea for today is actually to do with this big purple egg over here. As you guys probably remember, I built this out of the spare clay left over from my house makeover. And I'm bored of it already. <laughs> so what I wanted to do was hatch it. Yes, hatch it because it is an egg. And I thought, what would come out of a purple egg? Well, of course, the unicorn from my build battle episode yesterday. So we're going to crack this open and out pops a unicorn. 2,000 years later. It has been born into the world through the purple egg. Here is the unicorn from my build battle episode. I thought it would look really cool towering over Shadowcraft, just protecting me. I'm gonna see if I can see it from my bedroom window. That would be cool. Oh, <gasps> we can, we can see it from the window here. Isn't that cool? Oh, yes. Every night we shall pray to the unicorn gods. We need a name. We need to name the unicorn. Oh, I'm really bad at coming up with names. So you guys leave in the comments a suggestion what we name this guy. Oh, girl. Unicorns are genderless. So our main task for today is to build the Queen of Hearts garden, which I suggested in the last episode. You guys have some awesome ideas for it in the comments. So where are my roses? Hmm? Oh no, there's so much snow. Oh, here are my 19 roses. I'm gonna grab my bone meal as well so that we can make more. Oh gosh, sorry. Because we will be needing a lot of them. I'm also gonna need to plant these maple leaf saplings that we gathered in the last episode. And then we need some shears to shear the leaves off them, which are red. And we're gonna need some glass to stain red. Which means we have to go and find some sand. Where's the nearest desert? I'm gonna go find a de- oh! <laughs> I need to put up some warning signs here so I don't do that again. I'm gonna go find a desert so I don't ruin the natural landscape of this nice area. I found a beach, I found some seagulls. Hello seagulls. Oh, you're so cute. <gasps> can I, can I take you home with me? Come back. That's a really cool tree over there too. All right, let's get some sand. Let's get two full stacks and then we can pop off to this tree because I cannot leave this unexplored. Flying. Whoa, chickens galore. That's a bunny. This could be the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Come back. Don't hide from me. White rabbit, here we go. We've got one cast member from the Queen of Hearts garden already. <gasps> there are two trees. What kind of tree is this? I demand to know. Sacred oak. Oh, it's a sacred oak tree. I want one in my garden. Wow. All right, let's rescue the white rabbit before he jumps off the end of the tree. Where are we gonna keep the white rabbit for now? I don't wanna, I don't wanna put him on the island with all the other bunnies. I might lose him, he might fall down a hole or something. Hmm, maybe I'll leave him in here where the, where the sheep used to be. All right, stay safe, white rabbit. Do not escape, okay? Now we can get this sand a smelting and make some glass for a dying. Smelt away, my lovelies, smelt away. Well, that is smelting, I'm going to build the garden all the way over here. So I have selected a huge space over here to have the garden and I cleared it out, it's all flat now. Maybe at the end of it we can build a huge castle, but not today. We're just gonna focus on the garden for today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a path straight down to the end here and then fill this in with quartz. I think this looks beautiful. Wow, this is a long path. I'm going to line it with these little trees here that I'm gonna base off these ones here, which I think kinda look like clubs from the playing card deck, don't you think? That's what I'm gonna do. So we'll start off with an oak one. If you're a fan of symmetry, you would love this garden. Okay, how does this look? Pretty good, hmm? I think it would be cool to have some maple trees behind it, like here, and have them lining the background. Oh, I've got an idea. 
You can make hedges. We should try and make an oak hedge. Oh, we just use oak leaves. Perfect. Let's see what this looks like. If we place it along here. Oh, that's so cute. Or should I say pretty? Oh, that's adorable. How do you think it looks? I quite like that. Let's make more. Alright, that is the basics done. Now we just need to add extra decorations to make it look all Queen of Heartsy. I'm going to actually grow these saplings so I can see what they look like. How does that look? I like that. Oh, how could we forget the roses? Of course, we need to make more. So we'll just use some bone meal on them. That's all we're going to get, 10. Now, where should we put these? Should we put them uh, in between? Hmm. I'm going to put them in between these trees here. And I'm just going to creative mode them because otherwise it would take me so long to collect this many roses. All right, we are done. That looks quite nice, actually. I like it. So queen of heartsy. We also have some, oh, cherry wood. <gasps> this would be really nice to build maybe an arch out of. Okay, so I just spent the last half hour of my life trying to work out this design, but I think... It's pretty perfect for the Queen of Hearts garden. It's a hole in the wall shaped like a heart. I know, genius. <laughs> but I thought it looked pretty cute. And I also decided to make some of these white fences and I'm just gonna surround this whole garden with white fences. And that way we can keep the white bunny in here and he will be safe forever. These are just made by combining a fence with bone meal. And now, if we put a bunny in there, it should not be able to escape, hopefully. I'm going to take you down the rabbit hole. Just kidding, I'm going to take you to a nice garden. Okay, where shall we plop him down? Let's plop him down over here. Right, do not escape. <laughs> it doesn't look like he can get out, which is good. A few moments later. Wait, what? How did you escape? What the heck? I feel like this garden needs a fountain. So let's do a fountain through here. I think we should level this area here and then put the fountain on top of here. All right, this will be the shape of it. So let's do some stairs coming up to here. Did I just see my bunny escape? What the heck, white rabbit? How did you escape? <gasps> we need to dig out space for the water. And now we need to fill it with water, so we actually need a bucket. Fly home. Oh my goodness, this place is a mess. Oh well, I'll just get my bucket and be gone. Where is my bucket? Oh, here is a bucket. Back to the Queen of Hearts garden. All right, I'm going to make an infinite water sauce just to store the water in for now, so I don't have to fly down to the ocean every time. Infinite. And then we just fill in this fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that turkey in the background, that's actually Joel. Now, at the moment, this is more of a pond than a fountain, so we need to put some water features in the middle. So, we will have some stairs on this side, stairs on every side, actually. There we go. And then let's put some blocks down here. And then we'll build this up a little bit. And then we will have some more stairs. Voila! And then, oh, this is looking pretty good. It looks like a lucky block temple. Then we'll have some more blocks up here, and then the water should fall down the middle and look real good. <gasps> that looks so cool! Yes! Fountain goals! Now we can cover up this infinite water sauce and carry on with whatever we were doing. The next thing we're going to build is also from a comment, and I love this idea so much. They actually suggested that I build flamingos, because in the book slash movie, the Queen of Hearts uses flamingos to play croquet. So, we're going to make more garden flamingos just like the one outside my house, except we're going to make many. I need my clay. Flamma, flamma, flamingo, 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 flamma, flamma, flamingo, flamingo, flamingo. Alright, we have four flamingos. That's three. What happened? Five flamingos. Okay. Let's take these. Oh, why is it dark? Hang on, I shall take a nap. Okay. Let's say our morning prayers to the unicorn, which has no name yet, and head out back to the Queen of Hearts garden, where we will place these flamingos strategically. <gasps> Where's the bunny? <gasps> 
Is that the bunny? Wait, Rabbit, how do you keep escaping? You can't hide from me. You're not hiding very well. So I think we will place some flamingos in here. Let's have them peeking out from behind the uh, roses. One right here. Oh no, <laughs> it's really tall. Oh well, that looks really funny. I'm going to place little carpets down and then I can put the flamingo on top of it and it will hover. Hovering flamingos, the new big thing. Have one peeking out there. Oh, that's cute, that's so cute. Need more, need more flamingos. Oh, they're so cute, look at them. There we go, cute, okay. So we've used all the flamingos already. I didn't even get to put any over here. Maybe we should just spawn in some more and have loads. Well, that's actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> I'm glad we did that. Oh, we also have all that stained glass that we never used. It's still in the house, in fact. So let's go and grab that. And I wanted to make a huge giant stained glass heart out of it. So where should we put that? Maybe I could put it on top of the fountain. Let's get building. How's this looking so far? <gasps> it looks quite cool. There's going to be hearts everywhere. How's that look? <gasps> that's quite cute. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we've got the pathway and the fountain. And I think the next thing we need to do is build a maze. So we're going to do that down here. I'm going to use all of the maple leaves that we collected earlier and build the maze down here. I'm going to build a staircase down to it though from here with the quartz blocks. Dang it. I'm not great at building mazes, so I can't promise that this is going to be amazing. Huh. My number one tip for building mazes is to build them only one block high at first so you can see what's going on. And then once you have completed the construction of the maze, then you can just go in and build it one block higher. Okay, it is complete. What's that over there? A bunny? Wait, crop ruiner? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you must have been from so early on in the series. Hello, Crop Ruiner. Let me give you a home on Moon Island. You deserve it, even if you did ruin my crops. There you go. So you can actually see a view of the maze from here. You can't quite solve it from here, but I like that you can see that it is a maze. And then you are directed to enter it. I don't know how to get out of here myself, to be honest with you. But it's not this way. This way... All right, this way. Yeah, we did it. I'm also going to use these hedges here to just close off the garden so that people can't cheat and go around the maze. Now nobody can escape, which also means that my bunny should not be able to escape. So we can put him back into the garden now. What the heck? How did you escape out of here? Why is the white rabbit so good at escaping? This rabbit is so crazy, man. Okay, let's see you get out of this one. Heh. <laughs> so since this is Alice in Wonderland themed, I'd also like to put in some giant mushrooms and huge flowers and stuff because the Alice in Wonderland world is very crazy. Everything's huge. Huge caterpillars, huge cats, huge things. So let's get a mushroom and grow it. Where are my mushrooms? Perhaps they're... Did you lay an egg? Oh, phew. Okay, we've got both kinds of mushrooms, so we'll take them. Yes, we will. We'll take them all over here. Okay, has the rabbit escaped? Not yet. Ha 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 ha. Plant this baby. Ah! I'm inside it. Okay, perfect. <gasps> it looks so cool. It's very Alice in Wonderlandy. I think I'll plant another one over here. Low meal. Okay, perfect. <gasps> Cute. So earlier I used green carpet to levitate these flamingos, but now I'm going to use it to make some lights in the floor. So if I just dig a hole down here, boom, and then that kind of lights up the area without being super obvious that there's a torch there. And the green kind of just blends in with the grass, so I think it looks pretty good. Ta-da! <gasps> we should add um, a gate to the end of the maze in case the bunny manages to figure out how to escape. There we go. What? Oh. Oh no! No! My maze! Okay. The garden is looking pretty good. I think we need some more roses around though. Where are my roses? Here are my roses. We're going to make a giant flower out of green stained 
Hello. Shirtless man, get out of here! Stop it. I don't care, you're shirtless in my lovely garden. So this is the green stem and then these are the leaves coming off it and we'll build the flower out of purple. How does this look from the ground? Oh, this looks really cool actually already. Wait, how did you get in there? What? Technically you've escaped, really, is what you've done. Put you back in here. For the inside, the stamen of the flower should be... <gasps> it could be this! Ta-da! Oh, hang on. Ta-da! There we go! <gasps> that looks so cool! Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. That looks quite nice. I think it would be cool to have a couple more of them though. Oh, hang on, maybe we should do the flower red because this is all the red themed garden. Let's go get our red stained clay instead. How does it look now? Oh, that looks cool because it looks like a rose. Okay, which of these vines would look best then? Maybe the red one. That just uses poppies. Okay, so we've just got to find a load of poppies. We just need to get about six of them to get a load of vines. The more we can get, the better. Yes, okay, perfect. Where's my crafting bench? I've lost it, haven't I? Yes. Nope, it's right here. Some vines. Oh my gosh, you only get six. Let's try, let's try plant some on here first of all. Um, we'll have to come back and see if they grow. Okay, I've added a couple of extra big flowers and I put some vines on them. All right, I'm going to end it there for this episode of Shadowcraft 2.0. Hope you enjoyed. If you did and you'd like to see more episodes, please make sure to leave a like. Next episode, I'm going to try and build a Mad Hatter's tea party. So if you have any ideas for that, leave it in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Is that troll face? Final decision. So I'm going to show you how to craft all 16 of them. Yeah. Ah! Oh. 12 wallpapers, which should be enough to wallpaper a large section of wall. I recommend that you start by placing the continue on the pattern and it will up.